So I'm actually making a video, and um, I guess the only reason I'm making it is because I'm actually doing something in the city. I haven't done anything at all in the past, like, two months just because I haven't really been up to it. I've been busy and, um, you know, just haven't had time. But doing it now, so that's all that matters. So I wanted to put water back in the city. I, a long time ago, I had, um, like, a bay. Not a bay. I had, like, a dock where I had, like, this cargo ship up here and I wanted to put that back so I was trying to look for a spot to put it and I thought over here would be the easiest spot um the other spot I was considering was over here because this is actually already lowered down but I didn't want to mess with the rail because that would just be a pain in the butt decided to go here which means I had to move at least one skyscraper I moved the Mars Tower so that's going over here um at first you know when you first look at it it's really crowded but I actually really really like it um, so I just did some quick landscaping work, if you want to call it that. I just put those three trees there. I think they look fine, just to give it a little bit of a decoration. I think I might move this tree out to actually have like a, a diagonal, to line up diagonally. But that's what I'm doing there. So now let's turn to here, and uh, I guess I'll just bring you along my uh, planning stages. So I'm thinking I want to keep DPM Tower in this location here. But um, maybe not in that exact location. Maybe I'll rotate it. I don't know. I'm going to see. But but I want the water to be in here somewhere. So let me see what I can figure out. All right. So, so far, this is what I've come up with. Um, work in progress, obviously. Something like that with the courtyard. Obviously, those, you know, I just got to work the arrangement a little bit more. And then something like this, where this would be the water. So no, we're not talking about a lot of water. We're just talking about um, the edge of what would be a lake or an ocean that kind of expands out that way. The next challenge I have is creating the transition between this industrial type area and this courtyard. And then of course we got a theme park across the street. So I've got to create some sort of boundary that, that kind of goes like this, um, that really like blocks off without being too obvious. So let me see what I come up with here. All right, I'm making progress. Uh, okay, so this is kind of what I came up with here. I've got this wall for the courtyard and it's actually uh, one by two by five, um, tall bricks on their side that go all the way down that worked out pretty well um, for this um, and then over here I started with because I had more black bricks I started with just going all the way down with a space for the entrance then I realized um, because this is all level um, I'd use the black wall as just like a, a flood wall I guess you'd say to hold the water in kind of modified the crane a bit I literally just realized it doesn't make sense because you if you pick up cargo here you can't get to the truck because there's that support there but for right now I don't care. It's good enough. I'll fix that in the future. Um, I started populating this area within here. Um, looking good. I brought the ship down um, and I added this this gate here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That just opens and closes um, to let or not let cars in. I got to work on this transition over here. Uh, I can probably just do green, I guess. That would be the easiest thing, but... So far, so good. All right, so I've made a lot more progress now. I got the water in using a really small blue towel. It actually worked pretty well. It fit just perfectly. Uh, so I got the cargo ship that you saw. I brought this mare down. It's not minifigure scale, but it really, uh, it just fills in the space nice. And actually the towel doesn't go to the edge of the table. So it's kind of hiding that as well. Um, this small boat here that I've, I custom built quite a while ago, back when I still had water, um, threw in some docks here, a little bigger one and then a smaller one. And then some steps down here just to um, access those. Uh, as for over here, I didn't change much. I did add in this service center, um, mainly because I had nowhere else to put it. So that's actually part of the city square set. And that's usually attached to this piece over here, that blue thing right there. And I had no place to put that, so I separated them and I was able to put... Uh, this part here as a, a car sales center, and then that part over there as a service center for um, the, I guess, the new shipments of cars coming in or whatever if they need service. I don't know. I think it fit moderately well, so I put it in there. I put some ties for the ships in here, just these yellow things. Um, I do need like two more black pieces right here to finish up this flood wall, um, but other than that, the flood wall is done. I think for right now this is a good stopping point. I think I made a lot of good progress today. Uh, got the water back in. I'm liking the look of this, especially when I step back. I think it looks really good. Um, and I think it blends in with the rest of the city 
uh, perfectly. The transition to the DPM tower in the courtyard is a little funky, but you know what? I think it works. And um, I'm really liking the look of the Mars tower in there. It kind of makes for like a, a, a downtown look. So excuse all the lights, but it's the best I can do. So let me know what you think of these changes down below and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you didn't like it, still give it a like. If you have any specific video requests for the future, comment down below and uh, thanks for watching. I shouldn't have done that.